Welcome to the final part of Catacross, or Dark of the Necropolis. In this video, I'll be focusing on the big boy. It is worth mentioning that I made a mistake of gluing the robe itself. I could have done it without, however it's manageable. So the miniature is base painted with Abaddon Black and now I'm painting the robe with a one-to-one -one mixture of Abaddon Black and Incubi Darkness. The next step I'm doing is just using Incubi Darkness and start layering the robe itself. I could have just dry brushed it, but I want to give a really nice definition of the whole cape, because it's quite a large area. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Then I'm applying Collier Green Shade inside and outside as well. Once it is dry, I also apply some of the deepest areas and on the top the cape, some known oil. Once it's completely dried then I'm using dry brush and going back with Incubi Darkness. starting to layer so whenever it was dry brushed I'm giving a one-to-one -one ratio of Kabbalah green and incubi darkness so I'm slowly starting to highlight the cloak Once that is done, I'm just using Kabbalah Green and here I'm focusing mainly on the top areas. I want to keep those dark areas as it is.
I start highlighting the robe itself with a 2 to 1 mix ratio of Kabbalite green and Cyberite green. Then I'm continuing the highlight, this time a 1 to 1 ratio, so one part Kabbalah green and one part Cyberite green. Finishing it with cyberite green only. So here it's just literally the sharpest corners, the edges, just to have that really sharp transition of the cloak. The cloak is now finished, so I'm moving on to the body and I'm using Ionic skin. I also paint the belt. As I mentioned it before, so the cape itself is glued to it already, by mistake, but you can still actually paint it. Obviously try to be as neat as possible, really close to the cape. Once it was completely dried, then I am adding the technical night home gloom and I diluted it with Lamium medium, a 1 to 2 ratio. I'm skipping the belt, so just the body itself. On the belt I was using Dragon of Nightshade with Lamia Medium, a 1 to 3 ratio dilution. Once it was completely dried then I was adding no oil onto the body. I was just trying to give a bit more recess of the body itself. I skip the belt. The 
going back with Iron Rock skin and I'm dry brushing the body and the belt. Now that with the dry brush it's blended together well, I am applying same again on iron rock skin, layering all the features of the body. Also the belt, I am using the same color. After that's done, I'm using Deep Kim Flash and starting highlighting all the sharpest features of the body. Giving now a fine highlight with Palis Fitch Flash. And I am finishing with a super fine highlight on the body with white scar. Now that the skin is done, I'm giving Reikland Flash Shade Wash on the belt.
while the Reichland flash shade was drying, I started to paint its pole arm and all those open areas with corn red. I base paint now the pole arm, the helmet with mechanical standard grey. So on its back and the shield. I am using a one to one mix ratio of counter blue and Abaddon black, and with this, I am painting the shield and the helmet. Now that the Reckland flesh shade is dry, I am applying Kerber Crimson Wash in the joints of the stitch areas. Using White Scar, I'm painting its eyes. The stitches with palette witch flush. Now I'm moving to the mechanical standard gray areas with uh, Agrax Earth Shade Wash. Now that the Agrax Earth Shade is dried, I'm going back with Mechanical Standard Grey and layering the helmet, the back, the pole arm,
candles for the shield. these bone armor areas I am using Dawn Stone giving a highlight Finishing it with Administratum Grey, giving a fine highlight, just in the sharpest features of the miniature. area and starting to use pallid witch flesh then I am giving a Reichland flesh shade wash went back to Pallet Witch Flesh and layering all the flesh areas.
Now on the bottom part of the skin itself, I'm adding caraba crimson. It's quite watered down, so like a one to two ratio, because the wash itself is quite strong. Then on the top of the flesh area, I'm using Way Watcher Green Glaze. I'm finishing the stitches with Pallet Witch Flesh. I am starting to base paint all the gold areas with the Balthazar Gold. and also the emblem on the shield. Now I'm giving all those gold areas an Agrax Earthshade wash. Then I start layering with Psychorex Bronze. And now I am finishing it with Stormhole Silver, all the gold areas. Now I'm going back to the helmet and the shield and this time I'm using only counter blue and start layering it.
Now I'm giving a fine layer of counter blue mixed with rust gray, uh, one to one ratio. I'm using rust gray and this time I'm dry brushing it on the shield, mainly where the sharpest features are on the shield. And now using a small brush and start layering it just on the sharpest features of the shield. The same goes to the helmet itself. Then I am highlighting with Fenrisium Grey. As you can see, I'm just using it in the sharpest features on the shield. All the gemstones are in Abaddon Black, so I'm highlighting them with Administratum Grey. Then I'm giving a fine highlight of Wolfsuan Grey. <coughs> and with Art Code. I'm giving the effect of like shiny gemstones. I decided to give a highlight to the back, giving a dry brush of Dawnstone just from the middle to the center. Moving on to the silver areas and using Glad Belcher I base paint the right shoulder pad symbol. Also inside of the shield, the handler. On its pole arms blade I am just dry brushing Glad Belcher. I 
mix down Balthazar Gold with water, uh, 1 to 3 ratio, and just giving it in the recesses of the pole arms wounds. I base painted also with corn red the handler and I'm giving a dry brush of dried bark on the wood areas. Then I'm giving null oil wash the inside of the shield, the, all the metal areas and here on its back just the edges to give that nice tr dark transition I'm starting to layer all the ribbons on the spear and the dagger with Wasdaka red Then I'm highlighting it with Kislev Flash. Same goes on to the shield as well. screws, ribbons, uh, giving a layer of stormhole silver. The symbol on its right shoulder. On the shield. side of the shield. And dry brushing the spear. Then I am watering down white scar with water, like a 1 to 3 ratio, and just it inside the symbols on the shield. After that I'm glazing it with Waywatcher Green. Then also water down Everland Sunset. Giving it again to the symbols. Then another layer of white scar. But this time it's quite light. And then finishing it with Lamenter's Yellow. Have that nice glowing effect. I start dry brushing the eagle with Skaven by Dinge. Giving a light dry brush of Mechanical Standard Grey. And a very light one with Dawnstone. Giving a wash of Null Oil so that all these dry brushed areas are getting mixed together well. Then layering, highlighting with Dawnstone, just the sharpest features of the bird itself, beak, some of the bone areas under the eyes, the claws. giving white scar on the eyes 
giving Way Watcher green glaze on the eyes and also on Kata Cross's eyes. I am really happy with the results, so I am gluing it onto the base. And there you have it, the finished Orpheon Katakros Mortark of the Necropolis is complete. I really enjoyed painting this miniature, the whole set itself. Um, sorry for these two long videos, but I thought all these amazing details on these miniatures is just worth to share and hopefully it can help in the future. If you have any suggestions in mind for what shall I paint next, please do let me know in the comment section. A like would be much appreciated and also if you really enjoy my works, uh, please subscribe. Cheers.